Welcome to everyone to my forest. Please have a seat by the campfire as I tell you stories of cryptids, legends, mysterious deaths, and disappearances from all over the world. I hope you enjoy your stay and keep an eye on the woods. Something might be watching you. Cryptid Log Sasquatch. Sasquatch, or Bigfoot as it's more commonly known, is a supposed creature that is said to live in the United States of America. Most sightings of the creature are in the Pacific Northwest. From the East Coast to West Coast and even into Canada and Mexico, there have been thousands of sightings of a large ape-like creature with either brown, black, or red fur that is said to be 7 to 10 feet in height and weigh around 2,000 pounds. Their given name of Bigfoot comes from the size of their foot, which is said to be 24 inches or 60 centimeters in length, and 8 inches or, or hold on, which is said their foot is said to be 24 inches and 60 centimeters in length, and 8 inches or 20 centimeters in width. The creature has many stories about it in the Native American culture, saying that it goes in the tents and steals babies. Others say that they are giants, like the Nephilim, from the Bible. In caves in the U.S., you can see paintings of what looks like Sasquatch. The paintings look like giant men with hair or fur all over their bodies. Some scientists say that there are no, so, no creature living in the woods of the U.S., but that doesn't explain the thousands of sightings that people have reported and recorded or caught on audio. For sure, some of these could be faked, but there is evidence to suggest that people are seeing something out there and that it even and even looked into by our own government in the past. The Tool River Indian Reserve has one such painting of a Sasquatch or wild man. The site is also known as Painted Rock and it is estimated to be a thousand years in age. So, even the people back then saw these creatures. In the 16th century, Spanish and Mexican explorers mentioned a creature known as the Watchers or Dark Watchers. The reports from them say that these creatures would be near their camps at night. Bigfoot has also been reported to scream, whoop, yell, and in one strange video even seem to be talking in a weird unknown language. But the video that this has been uh, in has not been proven false or truthful yet, so it is unknown about that video as of right now. Some tales from the Native American folklore also mention that they tend to be cannibalistic in nature, but there are a few other legends that also say that also said to be like including the raven mockers and wendigos, just to name a few. So it is unknown if these reports of these reports since no modern sighting has a Bigfoot eating another or eating a human, at least that we know of. Some people have brought up a good point and said that Bigfoot is a misidentified animal, such as a uh, such as bears, mainly the black and grizzly bear in North America, which is a good possibility. But in there are way too many sightings to say that the animal in question is a bear. Since bears don't walk on their hind legs, they walk quadrupedally, while the creatures in question are said to walk bipedally. Others say that it's an extinct animal like Gigantopithecus, a large primate that lived in Asia around 10,000 years ago. We don't know much about the animal other than it was large and for the reason that it lives in Asia debunks the idea of Bigfoot being a Gigantopithecus. Plus, we have their teeth and the size of their teeth also mentioned that they're most likely herb herbivores, while Bigfoot is said to be omnivores. Some evidence that might prove that might prove it is that Russia, France, and Germany have all placed Bigfoot on the endangered species list. And in Washington, it is illegal to kill a Bigfoot or Sasquatch, which I kind of find funny because why is it illegal if the animal doesn't exist? And why would three different countries also have it on their endangered species list? In 2019, the FBI released a document that went into details on what they found when they investigated Sasquatch. 
The report mentions a J. Cochran, Jr., the assistant director of the FBI, said that Brian, a researcher of Bigfoot, that he couldn't find any evidence of Sasquatch. One piece of evidence that Brian sent was 13 different hairs. Actually, 15, my mistake. That was said to be from a Bigfoot. But the analysis that the FBI did on the hairs said it was from a deer. But this FBI investigation was more of a favor to the researcher as he wanted them to look into the 15 hairs. Yes, the FBI did a small investigation, but only the one, only the one hair. But there are a few other hairs that have been looked into, uh, not by the FBI, but a few other uh, scientific research facilities. And weirdly enough, the analysis said that they were from a primate in origin. But it is unknown if these are from something like an orangutan, a chimpanzee, or even a gorilla. Some people also say that they might be human hairs. But as of right now, we know that some of the other hairs that have been looked into are from primate origin. The most popular piece of Bigfoot evidence has to be the Patterson film, which has been concluded to be a real video and has not been tampered with in any way, shape, or form. That does not mean that the uh, subject in the footage is real, but it does suggest that they saw something that day. Um, the footage might be of a because might be of a real Bigfoot because Hollywood at the time and to this day do not have a suit that can mimic what the animal did. More specifically, the muscles moving under the skin. And on the footage, you can see that the subject walks in a weird way compared to humans. Humans have to arch their foot in order to walk. The creature in the footage didn't. The animal in question also seemed to have a stigatal crest, which is found on most primates except humans. But gorillas and chimps, as well as a few others, have it. So, this could mean that Bigfoot might also have this crest. The sightings have also been reported since the 1800s, so in that way debunks a certain family that have said their father created Sasquatch by making wooden feet and walking around at a construction site at night, only for it to only show up in the newspaper the other day saying that they found a creature. The skunk ape is another animal that is similar to Bigfoot and is said to live in Florida, where the first picture was taken in Sarasota by a lady who took the photo and called the cops, saying that there was an escaped chimpanzee running around. But when the cops looked into the local zoos in the area, they said that there was no escaped primate that looked like the animal in the photos. So, and there are also now many reports of skunk apes in the area, most likely from this one individual or an entire population. Some people might even think that the skunk ape is a subspecies of Sasquatch that has evolved to live in a swamp-like environment of the Everglades in Florida. They are also said to have a worse smell than Bigfoot, and are said to uh, be, and are said to be that have since uh, Europeans have arrived in the 1880s, not 1880s, 1818, a local news letter in what is now known as. Apalocola, Florida, said that a man-sized ape was stealing food and attacking fishermen. It is unknown if these reports are true or not, probably not, but maybe down the line we will know learn more about what happened. But as of right now, these stories are up for debate. Other countries have their own versions of Bigfoot, like the uh, Mandi Barad from Bangladesh or the Sukalu in Cherokee mythology, and even like the Yeti of Nepal. Almost every country has their own version of a wild, hairy ape man. This could also be proof that a new species of giant ape has yet to be discovered, or it could just be a massive account for delusion. But with how many sightings, that there have been reported, it is unknown how many of these are true and how many of these are hoaxes. It is just simply impossible to move to move the ones that are all hoaxes out for the ones that could be credible. That's not to say that some stories might be true and others not. I'm just saying that it is just a hard task for anyone to make to try to separate these sightings into either credible or fake. Um, in the 1800s, 
in Africa, people were having sightings of gorillas. And back then, this was back in the 1800s, so people didn't really know what gorillas were because they weren't discovered. But the locals in the area were saying that it was a giant hairy ape man running around. That was until a big game hunter found and shot one and brought its head back to Europe. We now know these animals as gorillas. And that these animals were from a local legend. So that could also support the cryptozoology thing being an actual science. Because some animals that were cited in cryptozoology, such as the okapi and the gorilla, have now been classified as real animals. This is a more interesting subject because there are some people that said that they have shot and killed one. In a couple of stories I have heard of this happening, mainly with hunters. After they had shot and killed the animal, they had just leave the body in the woods. Which I find odd. I mean, you just killed what might have been a new species and you didn't bother to let anyone know you did it to verify if it's a new species or not. On top of that, the stories also mention that they went back to where they shot the animal and there was nothing after a day or two when going back. We're talking about a massive animal, supposedly, and there was nothing left after a day. I find it very suspicious, and I kind of think that these in particular stories, where people say that they killed a Bigfoot and tried to go back for it, I kind of think they're fake, because if you shot something like that, I would assume you would either take a photo or take a video of the animal to at least prove that you shot the animal. Because who wouldn't want to, uh, who wouldn't want to actually be the first person to say that they discovered Bigfoot? Or could even name the species. Um, Bigfoot has been in many forms of media throughout the years, such as books, newspapers, movies, and even TV shows to games. Bigfoot has become an icon of the modern day. For better or worse, who can really say? But what do y'all think of Bigfoot? A real creature? Or an animal built on a hoax for thousands of years of stories. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Hello everyone, and I would like to thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and share the video. So, and subscribe so that you don't miss another episode on my channel. Also, if you like my content on here, go check out my second YouTube channel. You'll get to see some shenanigans from me playing some various video games. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Twitch, and merch store. Links to those will be in the description down below. And as always, I will see you all next time.